good days, you're gonna have some bad days. You're gonna have highs and lows within practice. Get yourself out of those lows. Don't get too high when you're doing good, right? Yeah. Compete, compete, compete. Good things will happen. Right, here we go. Here we go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Let's get it. Well, first, you know, like right now, the, the bigger sacrifice is more so when kids like this come to prep school to develop. I mean, it's not even just basketball. You're really sacrificing being away from your family, people you love, things that you're familiar with, and coming here and working hard and uh, being dedicated to the grind. So um, a lot of people can't really handle that. But to be a pro and to be a high-level Division One player is all about sacrifice. It's all about eating right, doing the right things, being a good person, being a great person in the community. Um, and it starts with family structure. A drive to a paint touch, that'll be my decision. One point, a turnover, minus two points, all right? We play the ball through the basket. All right, if it goes through the glass, if it goes through the net, it's still live until the defense gets it. All right, offense, you can keep getting and keep scoring. All right, we're trying to create that habit where we're relentless in the outside of the glass. That's anybody. So when do you get some? Flash, he got it! Yeah. See, see, you can't, you can never show up to practice and just be okay with just doing what you normally do. You know, you gotta take it to the next level. Now your stretch has gotta be good. Your mental gotta be on point. You gotta know what the game plan is, what the practice plan is, what what we trying to accomplish during practice. So, for us, just having all these high level guys is like, our guys are used to being the one on their team, and now you know. They're still high level guys here, but at the same time, they're surrounded by other people that can do the same thing. So they got to come in with a different mentality to be better than the next man. And it's, that's not as easy as it was before. Everybody has to make one free throw. So here's how it's gonna work. Whoever y'all want, y'all can strategize. I don't care. Step up. If you make it, you've made yours. We're done. If you miss it, we got it down and back. If, you, if we got two in a row, we got a 22. Three in a row. So you only gotta make the first one. Yeah. And I'm in one. But look, you gotta make one. That makes sense. Like yesterday, you just had to shoot the one in one. Today, everybody's got to make one to get out. Front end of the one and one, they had three down and back, 34 seconds. You missed the second, it was 11. That's what was yesterday. Today, I don't know. <laughs> Just don't miss. Don't miss. Right? <laughs> don't miss. Tell the lead, man. Brandon, 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 go! The competitive nature was there. That's what we got to have every day. That's how each and every person gets better. All right, that's how each and every person gets better. Jay Shelley, I love your energy. You see the difference between yesterday and today? Your energy level? It takes us to a whole other level. All right, continue to compete. Don't give in to anything. Don't give in to anything. You're going to have some, some bad days. I get it. It happens. Come back the next day and do, and do what you guys did. All right, each and every day. Each and every day, just compete. Try to get better. Be the best you can be that day. It may not be the best you were the day before, the best you're going to be the next day, but be the best you can be that day, no matter what. Hey, 
you guys have taken a lot out of your bodies these last two days. Let's go eat, make sure we stay hydrated. If you need to go to the training room, go to the training room. We've had to change the groups a little bit. So we're going six and 645 so that we can go uh, with Mr. Joe and get ice cream at eight o'clock. All right, here we go. Yay. Family on three, one, two, three. Family, Let's check your band if you need to see your schedule. Yeah, we need to find out the you know what? Oh, A lot of guys, like we got Trey Johnson, who is a good example of that. And uh, I mean, he got a trajectory where he's obviously projected to be a NBA first round pick. And uh, he got a lot of traits, um, such as like discipline, coming to work out every single day. Like when he first got here, he was literally in the gym like three, four times a day. And uh, a lot of guys don't understand that that's what it takes. And a lot of guys can't even buy into it, but our team, we got a lot of guys that's willing to make that sacrifice. Trey, top five player, 2024 class. Humble, humble young man. Uh, intrinsically self-motivated as they come. Um, he tell you he won't work out at 6.30, he is there at 6.30. Stretches after every workout, puts the work in, works hard. Uh, taking his body more seriously now, he's starting to gain some weight. Uh, he has this, the potential to be very special. Uh, I don't like calling kids a pro, but if he does what he's supposed to do, he will be one of those. So this this is y'all's typical morning? Or how yeah, do this? Every, every morning, 5.30, 6.30, one of them, we in here. Work gonna show every time. Gotta put the work in so it can show. Simple as that. Uh, today we did finishing off one footed, two foot, coming off a screen, uh, breaking our man down off the dribble. After that we did um, some pick and roll pull ups. Then we did catch and shoot threes all throughout the workout. Uh, and then some get game. Just basically, you pitch it to the big, you follow, you got a shot or has he pulled. Just some actions that you're going to see in the NBA and college. Uh, that we're gonna do throughout the season to get our game off and finish through contact. Uh, we pride ourselves on reps, but we pride ourselves on making things consistent. So in a row, uh, through all of our this workout, is four in a row, five in a row. Uh, his spot ups are seven in a row. We want to get consistent reps, game reps, shots, just building our confidence every day. For myself? Yeah. Uh, we just started practice, so before it was kind of different. We was just working out, so it was like the 6.30 workout. And we had like open lines at 10, and no rest. So I work out again like round three. And then I'll be done till like, we had dinner. Then I go again at like eight, go to sleep, do it over again. So it'd be long. to play against good competition every day in practice and just get better overall. How would you describe the schedule and what it's going to be for you? Uh, you really can't come out and have no off days where you, or it's going to be noticeable. You'll be, it'll be seen you having a bad game or you coming out sluggish and slow. you can be seen and obvious. Just help me with my mindset coming into every game, being aggressive, not taking any games off when I usually could do that. Playing a sorrier team, but shit, every team is good now. Recently, uh, before I, when I figured out where I was going and figured out where he was going, I texted him, introduced myself, just told him the real, hey, you got nine months, let's change your life. Let's, let's, let's not take these nine months for granted. You chose to go away from your senior year and come here, let's put that work in. And after that nine months, if you do what you're supposed to do, you got another nine months, and you could possibly change your life forever. Simple as that, that's your goal. It goes to the NBA, my job is to help you just beat a little a little clip note in, in, in your story to help you get there. You're going to put the work in, I'm going to be there right there helping you out, shit leading you on the way. Uh, great young man, and people probably don't know, he's just a regular kid, playful, joke around, and just loves the game of basketball. If you love the game of basketball, I'm going to love the game of basketball, and we're going to get along just fine. Don't move. It's just a, a strong or barely controlled you gonna make all of this. <laughs> nah, I do it by myself. Ain't nothing but a little extra work. Say, say it with some bass in your voice. Say I look like my mom. Say I look like my mom. I don't know. 
Let them know. Let them know. He don't cuss. No, he cuss. He cuss. No, he cuss. <laughs> He was, cuss, he was cussing after that conversation with his dad. <laughs> and then I'll explain to you guys what you guys are doing. I'll write it on the board and you guys will be ready to go. Okay. So what? What words today? Resilience. What's that word mean? Fighting through it even though it gets tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many how many y'all how many y'all know who Mike Tyson is? Who's Mike Tyson? Boxer. So he has this great quote. It's probably one of my favorite quotes of all time. TJ is what he said. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Yep. What's he talking about? He didn't talk about a lot of things. Like a lot of different things. Like, don't hurt. What are you going to do, right? Mm -hmm. He's talking about resilience. Right? He's, talking about, he's talking about pushing through. You guys think you'll ever be down in the game this year? Yeah. What are you going to do? You're going to fight through te it. Teams do, teams do one of two things when they get down. They either pout, their body language sucks, they start going the opposite direction, or they do what? They get it together and they come back. Yeah, they come together. Just like sense. we did at practice yesterday, Trey. Three See, and we, and we came back. Three nah, there was no resilience in that. Y'all was whooping us from the jump. No, we wasn't. Y'all was yeah, definitely whooping us from the jump. We ran so every Jay, time. So, Jay, let me ask you this. It's, it's, it's not how many times you get knocked down what? It's about how many times you come back. No, you got back up. You just oh, you got just, knocked back down. We're going to be back today. No cap, Jazz. We're going to be back today. We'll get after I'll tell you what you're doing, okay? Lord, I thank you for these young men. May you keep your hand of protection over them and help them to get better today, both inside and out. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Come on. You know, I'll break this one down. You guys get all the other ones. Two choices. We're better or worse. Come on, man. We've been here a week, man. I ask you, every morning when you wake up, you're either going to get better or worse today. Yesterday, y'all got better. Every single one of you got better, and I love it. So you say better or worse. And then I say, we really only got one option. We're going to get better. All right? Let's try that again. Two choices. Better, better or worse. worse. One option. Better. Let's get better then. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. All right. What you guys got? I've been walking around and nobody said anything. Yeah, I just peeped in the mirror. Look. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I just like, peeped I in wasn't, the mirror. I wasn't looking at Jay's face that hard. No, nah, I just peeped it in the mirror. I'm you saying what up, Jay? Yeah. That's crazy, right? I'm sorry that I don't stare like deeply into your face to tell you I show it. I mean, but you don't gotta say it like that because I wasn't like staring <laughs> at his face. I'm just letting you. It was a quick observation, like you know. <laughs> you must got 20 20 because I couldn't see it like this. <laughs> it's them goggles. Man, I think you have to give, give me a reason. Me reason. Like, Wait, come on, I was just nah, trying to be funny. Nah, nah, I was trying to be funny. Just oh, out. bro, I, I just helped you out. Now I'm throwing out the things that the reason why you've seen it. Uh, and now I'm being funny. But you didn't have to say it like that because you know what you're doing. It wasn't the goggles. You know what you're doing. Bro, it was the goggles. Why you think he got him on? He got him on for a reason. Okay. <laughs> Take the <laughs> off. You not gonna see nothing. Nah, you know you know <laughs> see guys doing this. These aren't kettlebell swings. There's a big difference between squats and swings. So, so you guys aren't doing this action. Okay, you're squatting. It's coming right here, and then you just straighten your arm out right here. Come, come on. Hit somebody. Right hit somebody. Now. Hit somebody. Be great today. Be great today. Be great guys, today. Two guys take off over to the box. Yeah, JB! Oh, back over here. Yeah, JB! It's hard to say right. Your whole stuff on one leg. Say hey, bro. Rock, stand up. <laughs> Fall before you stand up. right yeah. now. So we're done. Fall before you stand up. Hold on, hold on. So we're doing for two, sitting for two minutes straight, right? Yeah. Hold so make it. it. Make it stand if, I say, up. if I say right, lift your right leg. Can we get some rap music now? Like two, a good two minute song that we know. That's what I'm saying. Get through it. Alright, next group. Let's go. Yeah, Biggie! We right to it, baby! That's 
stop. Watch it. Oh, good job. Damn. Walk back to Columbia. college and the NBA. I gotta, even if I have a one player or two players that are really good, those other three players better be able to shoot the ball, especially in college, because the floor is small. So NBA, you got floor spacers. In college, you definitely need floor spacers, because there's no three, three seconds. Everybody's going to load up to you. They're going to maybe play a zone. And if you have no shooting on that court, it's going to be very tough for your top two players to score the basketball. NBA, if you have no shooting on the court, you can you can do some things schematic wise because still you got a lot of space in, in the three seconds defensively. But if you cannot shoot the ball, you will never be successful uh, and reach your full potential because you have to be able to shoot the ball. Make sure we're back here, 7.50 right here. We'll meet here and then we'll leave. Right? We gotta go to some ice cream thing. You good? You got something to say? No, I'm good. All right, so 7.50 right here. Um, Savage is on three. One, two, three, right. Savage. There we go. Right, there we go, something new. Tired of new. You guys missed me yesterday. The word for Tuesday is what? Resilience. What's that word mean? Does anybody know? We talked about it. Yeah. Oh, I, I got you guys. Everybody's everybody. got yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, yeah. Face. Mike Tyson. Everybody got plans. Yeah. Yeah. What's the word? T today's word? Integrity. integrity. What does integrity mean? Going the right thing when nobody's watching. So I pray over my boys, Aiden and Anders, every night. Do the right thing even when it's hard. So they did this crazy study, right? On consciousness, clear consciousness, not clear consciousness. Athletes with an unclear conscience don't perform as well. Why do you think that is? Because they got a lot on their mind. Yeah, my boy just doesn't do some hard. So think, think about my man. <laughs> Who's my man that just got arrested? Here's this, there's a scripture in Hebrews 4.13 that says this, Nothing in all of creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything we've done will be laid bare before him to whom has given account. So here's the crazy thing. Like he'll take whatever we've done. We all mess up. I mess up. You mess up. We all mess up. It's not a question of whether we mess up. It's... We're, we're, when we're willing to admit it, when we mess up and walk in integrity. 
Coach Wooden, who's one of the greatest college coaches of all time. Anybody know where he coached? UCLA. UCLA. Good job. Coach of UCLA, more national championship than anybody. He had a quote that says, your character is who you are when nobody's watching. Your talent is going to get you guys far. Real talented circle right here. Your talent will take you there. What's going to keep you there? Character. Character and integrity. And keep them there. Your talent's going to take you there. Your integrity will keep you there. You feel me? Let's get it real quick. You guys get after. I'll explain what you're doing, okay? Lord, thank you for the men in the circle. I pray that they would do the right thing even when it's hard. Protect them. Use them. Be with their bodies, their development, inner and out of man. We give them to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Come on. You know what it is. Yes, two sir. choices. Better or worse. One option. Better. better. All right now, let's get better. Family on three. One, two, three. Okay, All right. We already got Legs playing flat. You're not bending your knee. You're here. Your dad asked me yesterday if I'm doing any explosion yeah, stuff with you. I said, Courtney, I'm doing explosion stuff with them every single day. This will fire up your glutes right here. So you guys are right here using a weight. Coming back, straight leg back, straight leg down. Yeah. Here, resting the dumbbells on your shoulders, coming together at the top. Here, I want you to pass it just like you can, so you're dropping dives from three-quarter court. So I'm stepping into this chest pass just like this. Jasper can just throw it to the ground when it comes to him. Boom, push up, pop up, chest pass. What you guys are doing as far as charting the progress and why? Yeah, so we have to find the benchmark for where each player is at, and um, we keep track of how many reps they're doing in each station and how much weight they're lifting in each station. And we do that week by week, and we can see their progress uh, as we progress through the off season and into the season. So. Uh, it's, a, it's a good way to see uh, what we're doing, the results, and uh, seeing how strong these guys are getting in the program. In arches and shoes if they don't see it to fit our form on feet. That's why that's why women Yana hasn't had any foot problems. Barefooted. He lives barefooted. Something on my foot. <laughs> this place gets too crowded. When I'm in here by my when I'm here by myself, I'm barefooted. Way better on your feet. Smart guy. From uh, DeSoto, Texas. Didn't have any offers coming out of high school. Ended up being SEC Player of the Year. We led the G League in scoring last year. Played for the Rockets, the Spurs, and the Lakers. Now he's overseas making about 250. I got two groups, y'all. That don't mean nothing, bro. So y'all don't hear it, bro. You're not trying to get pressure with us yesterday. I ain't seen you touch none. That's crazy. I did not see you touch a weight. Hey, TJ, you don't say nothing. You just left. You ain't looking at a weight. And why are you telling you to shut up? I don't know. That shit, did I say shut up or did I say don't say nothing? Ooh. Not the same thing. Don't say nothing. Ah. He's talking shut up. mad I disrespectful. He's talking spicy to you, huh? That's crazy. He said don't well, say nothing. He's not talking no way. He's not, he not moving no way. Man, we the one who getting the way to him. Come on, man. Come on, B. He's lifting and he practiced. But you you just run your mouth. That's your exercise. You just talk. Oh, bro. Oh, so now if I don't play music, now what happens if I don't play music? They call you the music, music man. man? That's how you do that. That's crazy. That's crazy. So I just did you do the core? You barely. Two exercises, bro. You happy over four exercises? It's 15 exercises in the core thing. You missed nine of them. 15 is crazy. It's about 15. Hey, well, if that's 15, he missed nine. I mean, you get six. <laughs> yeah, he <missed> hey, <laughs> hey. Hey, come on. Right back. Let's get it. He be quick to tell somebody to go, though. Bro. He be quick to tell somebody to hurry up. He be quick to tell somebody to start now. Hey. Time for the push-ups. You're not even playing music. The only thing you're good at now, right? Hey. They on you right now. Man. Hey. Hey, Shelly. Stay on that side. Now I was on your side, and now you're telling me to stay on that side. That's cool. Yeah, you stay on my side. I ain't like that one. I ain't going. DJ, this is lifting. Why are you playing on the beat? Play some like YB. Bro, he can't do his job right now. Hey, JB. Just always got to add the two cents. What's the TikTok you seen yesterday in the group, man? I'm self-aware. Oh, come on. Just make sure I get that ball in that post. <laughs> when you call for it, it will be in your hands. Oh, I ain't never done in my life. Wait, will you be? You be.
didn't make your hustle play though, so I will wait one of them for your 17, okay? You got to get the one negative I saw, the one negative I saw, uh, and I'll watch the tape, it may not have, sometimes I watch tape and it's not as bad as I thought, sometimes I watch the tape and it's worse than I thought, but what I saw, we got split way too much, all right, we can't get split, we have to protect the paint. Trust that, and then trust your teammate to do his job on the backside. And then also trust us as a coaching staff. If we're in a game where there's a big time shooter, we'll make that adjustment in scouting. Right now, let's create those habits here, okay? Create those habits of getting in the gap and protecting the paint. Good job today. Here we go. Here we go. Family on three. One, two, three. Yeah. 45 minutes left. That's one o'clock. If you got it, 45 minutes. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go take me a little nap. I don't got glass in two